Today we shall reflect on the theme the unconditional love of God. And we see that in today's world most of the things come with terms and conditions. Most agreements, most contracts have a long list of terms and conditions. And sometimes even in friendships, even in relationships, we may have certain conditions whether they be implicitly or explicitly. But Jesus once again reminds us today of the unconditional love that God has for each and every one of us. We see that the people of Israel, even though God made a covenant with them, they broke the covenant, but still the Lord was favorable to them. The Lord wanted them to return back to Him. And that's the same case with us. Every time we go away from God, it hurts God. And God always longs for us to come back to Him, to repent and to turn back to Him. Because He loves us unconditionally and today He exhorts us to share and spread the same love to those around us. A glance at today's first reading reveals to us how the early apostles lived and practiced the gospel values. Today, as we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, today's first reading speaks about the election of Matthias. Now since Judas Iscariot had betrayed Jesus and then had hanged himself, they needed someone to take his place. And we see that today, guided by the Holy Spirit, they prayed and then when they put lots, the lot fell on Matthias. And this is exactly, we see that the process of discernment that takes place. They prayed over it and then they allowed the Lord to guide them. They allowed the Holy Spirit to guide them and then they chose Matthias. And then we see that Matthias also was willing to do the work of the God. We see that in his life, he went about preaching the good news to many parts of the world and even suffered martyrdom for the sake of the gospel. And thus, we see that all this is possible only because of the love of Jesus. We know that Matthias also was present at the baptism of Jesus and he was one who was following Jesus closely. And therefore, filled with the encounter of the risen Lord, he too was boldly proclaiming the good news. To this gospel invites us to reflect on the love of God which is unconditional and everlasting. Jesus also gives us one of the greatest commandment. He says, love one another as I have loved you. And here we see that Jesus exhorts us to share the same love that which we have received from him to others around us. Just as the love of Jesus is unconditional, he expects our love of one another to be unconditional as well. Jesus also speaks about the union between him and his disciples. Now we see that Jesus cared about his disciples. He wanted their well-being. Just as a good shepherd knows his flock, similarly Jesus knew the needs of his disciples and he provided according to their needs. Similarly, Jesus also invites us today to be sensitive and attentive to the needs of those around us. And by being sensitive to the needs, it is only then we can show this unconditional love of Jesus to them. Just as the Father has loved me, so I love you. Just as we have received something, we need to give it back. And similarly, we see that just as God loved Jesus, Jesus loved us. And since Jesus has loved us unconditionally, he expects us to pass it on to others, to love others unconditionally as well. And this also means laying down one's life, not literally, but metaphorically. In the sense, it implies sacrifices. Sometimes in friendships, in relationships, we see that when we do a little sacrifice, there is a lot of satisfaction that we get. Because for us what matters is the happiness of our friend or the happiness of our loved ones. And this is exactly what Jesus means here when he says, 
that there is no greater love than a man lay down his life for his friend. Jesus did the same thing for us. He gave his life so that we would be saved from sin. And he expects us to be sensitive and also to be self-sacrificing in certain aspects. We also see that Jesus calls us his friends. He offers us this invitation of friendship, but it depends on us whether we accept it or not. Jesus does not force anything on us. He doesn't command us, but he asks us just like his friends to do it. And we see that if we have a particular attachment to a particular friend, we will make sure that we do everything to keep the friend happy. We will not do anything that would hurt him. And similar is the case with Jesus. Since Jesus is our friend, Jesus has offered us his friendship. We must make sure that we do not hurt him by going against the word of God and by sinning. And therefore, during this Eucharist, let us in a very special way pray for the grace that we too may be able to discern well the working of the Spirit in our lives and above all, we may show this unconditional love to those around us. Amen.